So, uh, this one, this one's a little bit after Halloween. This was supposed to be a Halloween video. Very scary. The top 10 most violent moments in kid games. Mario, no! He's drowning! Let's enjoy. Oh yeah, I forgot he had this eyeballs. List, we're looking at very- Frogger? Number 10, squared away. Mario Party 5. <laughs> what? Do you just get crushed? Good this game looks impossible to win. Most of the series mini For games the have kept the lighthearted atmosphere with its ultra competitive undertones. However, the fifth main game features a grisly ending <laughs> in one of its mini games. Oh my god! You can see their final moments as the player or players trip and the stampede catches up to them. Why do they fall? They could just keep running out of frame. Bro, why do they have to trip? They try to get up. Look at this! Oh god. Help! Wario, I love you! <laughs> what kills me are all the thwomps here for like, they're just, this is like a blood sport and they're just like hungry dogs. They desperately lust for blood. <laughs> Number nine, Lord Wu Fuck Fuck. That's not what it says. Why'd he say that? Fack Fack. Fuck Fuck. No. Wu Fuck Fuck. What the? Okay. Banjo Tooie. I, I, almost, I almost fell for his influence. I almost did it myself. Whether you're using explosives or regular old eggs, which shatter pieces of eggshell, you have to admit Lord Wu Fuck Fuck suffers from the worst downfall of any Banjo Kazooie villain. Uh, I think Mr. Patches blows up. Weldar literally <laughs> explodes? Bro, bro just name dropped Weldar in the chat? <laughs> we know Weldar? Number one Weldar fan. I hated Banjo Tooie. But Banjo Kazooie doesn't have good bosses either. They have like a bunch of boxes in Rusty Bucket Bay. <laughs> Tooie is better than the first game. Mods! Clean up my fucking chat. Get them out of here. Shitty ass game. Number seven. Popping. Little Big Planet series. I thought that said pooping. Kind of looks similar. <laughs> Oh my god! But the process of popping doesn't look comfortable in the slightest. Well, he does it so much. Number six, like it can't actually Andros's hurt. fate. Star Fox 64. Andros explodes and reveals his true form. An exposed brain with floating eyeballs and tentacles. I don't think that's his true form. I think you just blew up his face. <laughs> if somebody ripped my face off, that wouldn't be my true form. I would just be mauled. It's at this point of the fight <laughs> that you'll have fuck? to shoot not just his eyeballs, I would be but an assault his cerebellum victim. as well. What? Headaches and sore eyes are already annoying to deal with. This, on the Fox other hand... Fox says it's his true form? Fox is an asshole! <laughs> what a piece of shit! <laughs> that's not his true form. You blew his head off! What the fuck? It's like you knock somebody on the head with a hammer, and then they have a dented skull, and you're like, ah, your true form. No, you just fucking, you need, they need to go to the hospital. What the fuck? How is Andros not Lord. screaming in agony with every hit we landed? Yeah, that's like his nervous system, right? Dude, you can hit the back of his brain. Would that hurt? Your brain doesn't have nerve endings. Brains don't have pain receptors, but you would be extremely dead. Depends on where you hit, right? Shredded Amphibian. Frogger. Just get run over. Oh my god, look at that frame rate. It is possible to die from a lawnmower. No surprise. And when Frogger succumbs to it, he is shredded into hundreds of polygons. Oh. This one is arguably the most graphic death in the whole franchise. What? Are we, are we not? I'm holding. Number four. Dude, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Why is he? What? Why did they do that? I got blue balled. What the fuck was that? Oh, here we go. Okay, that does look pretty bad. <laughs> I guess it's the same as the helicopter. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Maria's Fate. Sonic the Hedgehog series. What? This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. Oh, he's so bad. <laughs> Why did he say that second sentence? He could have just said the first one. He's so bad. Sonic, you... <laughs> I'm just like the people in the world that are like, why is Sonic doing all this bad stuff? <laughs> why is Sonic being evil? I'm one of those people. Yet, what no happens? matter how many times we experience I actually don't it, know. we cannot ignore just how savage her death is. As the story goes, Shadow and Maria are ambushed by soldiers She's of gun Alice? while trying to escape the Ark. Kony, you played this game. I didn't play the Shadow story. 
I played Sonic and I wrapped it up. I said, that's all, that's it for me. <laughs> One soldier draws his weapon and shoots Maria on the spot. Though Shadow is able to make an escape, Maria is left behind and goes down with the arc. Maria! I didn't see her get shot. Bye! <laughs> okay. A watery grave. Super Mario 64. Okay, this one is kind of fucked up. It's kind of a meme. But, like, consider the fact that 3D games didn't really exist at this time. And, like, I'm pretty sure Mario never had an oxygen meter, right? So, why did they add this? <laughs> It's weird. It's the first time we're reminded of his mortality. Yeah! Like, in other Mario games, when he gets hit, he, like, looks at the screen like, Oh, no! And then he jumps off the screen. In this game, he dies. By the way, I'm gonna say it again. There's an old 4chan green text story that I can't find that I've been looking for for, like, a decade about Mario running into the first Goomba. If anybody could find it, I will literally PayPal you, like, 20 bucks. Please. It's so funny. I know what you're talking about. Dude, that's the thing! A bunch of people were like, I've seen that before, too. It's like a guy thinks that Mario is a JRPG, and he's trying to talk to the Goomba, and he keeps jumping. It's so funny to me, but I can't find it. <gasps> Wait, this might be it. Wait, this actually might be it instead of the the Fortune Green text. I bought the original Super Mario Bros. the other day because it's supposed to be a landmark game. I start the game and go to the first level. When I walk up to the first character and talk to him, Mario smiles and jumps off the screen. <laughs> After I do this three times, it says Game Over. This actually, I think this is it. I think you're right. I thought it was a 4 chain green text, but I think that... How did you find this? I thought it was green text. I thought... I, I think I got Mandela. God bless you. I'm saving that for later. I love this so much. Jesus. I wish... I, Bowser being happy about Mario drowning is kind of weird Honey, to me. this Chinese repuff game of the Lion King has really messed up game over screens like Oh, is this the one where Simba hangs himself? Yeah. I've seen this. Yeah, Timon is crying. Goodbye! <laughs> the Simba one is fucked up. The music goes crazy, though. <laughs> I can't show that again. Oh, my God. Yeah, the simple one's fucked up. Number one is... I hope it's from one of those games that I mentioned, like Heart of Darkness. All the deaths. Crash Bandicoot series. All of them? They're not that bad. Whereas some are this hilarious, like Crash losing his pants or getting kissed by a frog prince, others are... Wait, Whereas why did he die here? <laughs> the prince kissed him and like now... Crash losing his pants. And now he's the king. What the fuck? Crash should be rich. Crash is homophobic. That's true. He definitely is, actually. Crash's outfit screams homophobia. Crushed by columns, eaten alive Whoa. by vicious plants, roasted into a pile of ash, vaporized by lasers, frozen in Arctic waters. I forgot the later games are kind of fucked up. Crash has been through it all. And those deaths yeah. are just the tip of the iceberg. Horrible deaths have become such a staple of Crash Bandicoot that they were turned into a collectible for Crash Tag Team Racing, and the ones featured there are some of the most brutal in the franchise. What? Collectible? Oh my god! Okay, that one's kind of fucked up. Seeing Crash in 3D like that, get his chest blown out, is a little different, I guess. Alright, I want to see more of those. No, 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 no! Don't look at that! <laughs> Almost got demonetized. I clicked the pause, and I clicked on Rick's head exploding. Oh god! Wait a minute, did we watch this? I feel like we already did. Is Number one is Mosquito. Yep. <laughs> I have clicked on that video like eight different times. And every time I say, I think number one is Mosquito. And every time it is, this is the same video. I've clicked on it so many times. I just keep clicking on it. I alone am driving up the animal content on Watch Mojo. They're like, damn, people really love this stuff. <laughs> now, every once in a while, I find a movie that I have to click on based on the thumbnail. Top 10 worst named as seen on TV items. And the thumbnail says dump meals. <laughs> For this list, oh, we're what? looking at products. Oh, the teddy bear. <laughs> advertised in infomercials with the names The teddy bear so is great, though. The teddy bear is a good idea. You'd never find them in stores. <laughs> if you could come up with your own weird as seen on TV Slob product, stopper? what would you name it? The fuck is this product? Pitch uh, your ideas in the comments. <laughs> 
wait, who's the product for? Is it? I thought it was like, is he the slob? I thought he no. was the slob, and he was looking at that woman, and like it was to stop him from looking at her cleavage. The but no, the what product was, was for him the Did whole time. Ideas in the it's a bib. <laughs> a spray. Yeah, it's actually pronounced a spray. Adam J, better known by his infomercial alias Doc Bottoms, our guess is that Doc Bottoms probably wanted another S in the title. That's a big ass a spray. How are you gonna? How how do you apply this? <laughs> Let's say you want to A-spray your asshole here, but it's this big. How do you do it? You would have to, like, hold it under. You would have to hold it between your legs like this with one arm, like this. And you would have to reach behind and squeeze it down. You know what I mean? You would have to, like, get under, behind, and, like, pfft. And you might get blasted up into the ceiling. Talking TP. Wait, you didn't want a recording device hidden in your toilet paper roll? Well, sorry for ruining your birthday. Talking TP what? is designed to surprise unsuspecting bathroom goers with pre-recorded messages as they unspool the TP. Oh, you want a receipt for the deposit there? <laughs> if you were- <laughs> Oh, I can't. He yeah, actually, I can't it. The toilet paper is talking. I pooped. I, I pooped. <laughs> Re-record as many- wait, you can record your own messages? What's the funniest thing you could get your toilet paper to say? Get one and give it the prime sub read? <laughs> Only my wife would hear it. She'd be like, honey, <laughs> this is not the right place to advertise. But if I took it to a tournament, wait a minute, and I just put it on? That's some marketing. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Talking TP makes a great gift for any occasion. What the fuck? Hurry, order now. This is like the Tyler 1 mic. It's a blast. <laughs> Dude, turn it down. Number seven, Euro Club. Joining the Euro Club no, this sounds is like just, you're applying this is for the an guy that pees that into the club. A continent. However, we've seen this before. Some... Yeah, you pee into the golf club. Duh. It's not. It, this just, just feels like another shitty as seen on TV product video. I thought this was about the names. Yeah, he pee... <laughs> All right, I may have seen this before, but this never gets old. Titty Bear. This product <laughs> isn't meant for children. This is a good one, actually. In fact, the Titty Bear should make a home in your car. Introducing the Titty Bear. This is a That's great idea. I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not the target demo, right? But I mean, like, people will remember the name, right? Because clearly, the only solution to an uncomfortable seatbelt is to get a stuffed bear. While this product's name seems totally <laughs> inappropriate, it's actually quite innocent. I think and it's great. And even provide comfort to its users. Very the cute. Titty bears. And, and Titty Bear makes sure that people remember it. That's a good idea. Does Booty what pop? it suggests. Oh, this is like a, oh, it's that like a push-up bra for your butt. We've seen this before, too. Boring. Give me a new one. <laughs> oh, no, this guy again. He just can't catch a break. Get him a fucking bib. It's not embarrassing enough. No! To have to wear oh, my God. That's a disaster. Dude, get it together. That's so rich and chunky. That's like, oh my, it's like Oval Team. Thing enough to have to wear an adult bib <laughs> while you. She was into him me. before. What I love Not embarrassing enough to have to. She was like, oh, he's kind of cute. He's kind of, he's a business guy. Got to tie in everything. Oh God, did he just spill his chocolate milk? <laughs> Just slip it on and enjoy your busy lifestyle. <laughs> the Slob Stopper is a product of... Oh, hell yeah. Now that's a guy who cares about his appearance. The name the is great. Stopper. Bibs aren't just for babies. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are some the honorable happy mentions. hot dog man. Happy hot dog man. How are you supposed to guess what this does on the name alone? It's the happy hot dog man. I, I think I could guess. Hush. What's meant to be an innocent chest pillow sounds not entirely legal. Uh -huh. Introducing Kush, the comfortable nighttime companion. <laughs> Number one, dump meals. <laughs> really? We spoiled it in the thumbnail, huh? I forgot this didn't come up. Nothing is more appetizing when talking about food than the word dump. If you need uh. dinner on the go and want to scare off guests by the name of your cookbook, then Dump Meals is the Stop. product for you. <laughs> I don't Making like this. dinner just got easier with my new cookbook, Crock-Pot Slow Cooker Dump Meals. <laughs> I, you know, I thought it was like something that like a corporation came up with. But Kathy Mitchell seems to really believe in the Dump Meals, the philosophy. She really, she pushed this. It's, wow. a, it's a pretty good idea, right? You just put shit in the pot and, well, not... 
You put stuff in the pot, and then you, well, the you wait. The idea is that these... Meatballs. I don't like... Dump. <laughs> that's quite a dump. Bodydumpcakes.com. Now that sounds like a porn site. Sells a collection of dump, dump cakes? Cakes as well. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new dump cake cookbook. Okay. By this point... By this point, Kathy Mitchell is is all in on dump cakes and on dump meals. She knows what she's doing here. <laughs> Listen to the, the timbre of her voice. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my new dump cake. Dump cakes? Cookbook. She just likes the word dump. Did you enjoy this video? It was okay. Like most Watch Mojo videos. These are the top 10 most dangerous challenges in Survivor. <laughs> I can't wait. Here's something that won't kill you. Exactly what I want to hear before I'm about to get face slammed by Rupert. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Ooh. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, onto the pole? Oh, Jesus! Ooh. We have seen torn tendons arise, dislocated shoulders, bruised bodies with elbows to the face. You charge someone oh my with god. a bag and pummel them. Bro, what? Bruised bodies with elbows to the face. You? <laughs> he did a flip and he just kept going. Where the players endure hanging onto a pole roughly 13 to 15 feet high, and the last player hanging on wins. Oh, God. Both challenges pose inherent risk. Oh, in my which Cassidy, God. You're falling, hoping wherever and however you land is sufficient enough to work out. And yeah, now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> break their wrist after they did not follow oh! the correct form. Although, if you rewatch the challenge, like half the cast didn't follow instructions and could have had a similar result. How do you. Here goes the lead! <laughs> What? Why is he wearing a fedora? And what's more, these massive balls on Survivor oh, were no. between 600 and 700 pounds, even more than what Indy was running oh, from my in the God. movie. That thing gets you, you're going to feel it for quite a while. Jeff, get out of the way! Why movie. is Jeff That's in the front? Oh, he think he Indiana Jones, you, bro. He think he in the movies. Oh, Jeff thinks he's in the movies. Oh! <laughs> oh my god bumped bruised battered beaten broken and ball busted anything and ev <laughs> bruised battered beaten broken and no way dude i would sue everything else i'd be fine with if i got hit like this on national tv millions of people watching i would sue for damages Jesus Christ, dude! Oh, are you all right? Are you okay? Are you all right? This show is fucked no, up, I, dude! I your <laughs> oh, the one spot you want to avoid, LJ just took it square on. Shut up, Jeff! <laughs> you fucking monster! Jeff, cancel the show! Jeff is Coney if he had a game show. I genuinely don't think I could do this. Number three is the infamous Schmergen Brawl from season 19 Schmergen? and 20. What? <laughs> James severely injured his knee, and you can see in the Ooh. reunion over nine months later that he was still limping from this challenge. Oh my god. We're never seeing this one again. Tied up. This is gonna be physical. Russell hang with He got voted out for it too. Wait, so he fucked up his leg and they're like, we gotta get this guy out of here. He's of no use to us. I can't believe we watched it. Did he kick him? Oh, oh my god! That's a straight up kick! Oh. Fuck! Whoa. Stop! Stop! How can they put this shit on TV? You can do all this shit on TV but can't show a boob. Yeah, I think Europe has it right. Herpes induced mouth cuts from the pork eating in South Pacific, the zip line of possible death from Cook Islands, and of what? course, last but certainly not least, the, the infamous Dig It challenge from season 32 that nearly cost Caleb his life. What? How you feeling, Deb? I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Medical. Medical. We take a look at Caleb, too! This is Caleb getting this. <laughs> Jeff is like a fucking ringleader. How can Jeff be on season after season of this? Jeff is fucked up, man! Survivor reached okay. to make this one a reality where three players were strapped to a rotating wheel and had to get submerged upside down in a water trough to collect a mouthful of dirt water, only to then spit it out at the top to fill up a tube. The producers essentially created a torture device and then asked, how do we make this into a tribe challenge where everyone can partake in the <laughs> This is literally torture. 
Please let me down. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, what were you thinking? I this is crazy. Accidentally drown. When the bar is set at drowning due to being stuck strapped into a giant well, especially because you can't you know stop it. The ultimate. Here is something that probably won't kill Oh my god, dude! Survivor history. Because they control it so you could just get fu- Are there three people on it? I didn't know it. I thought it was only one person. Jeff has to get off on this shit. Jeff is fucked up. This is some shit I would see on a medieval painting of hell. Yeah, I feel like I would see a picture of this in, like, amnesia. <laughs> like, when you're taken to the dungeons and the monsters are walking around and you look around at the walls. You see the survival wheel, you know? Oh my god, dude! Those are my top ten most dangerous- That's a good top ten. Check out Peridium. Thanks for watching, everybody! What was your favorite number? thing there's like 10 things for each thing so to comment below we'll see you next time say bye youtube goodbye goodbye i would tell you to subscribe but i'm already at 100k i don't need to tell you to do that anymore because the next benchmark is like 500k i will never hit that goodbye <laughs>